will see through representative clips and photos. This is about the insertion of the soft catheter or the tenk of catheter which can be used for both acute and chronic PDs. Before going into the insertion steps, we have to make sure the following important steps. The patient have to be NPO only for order at least for 6 hours. The patient should have a good shaving from uh, the entire abdomen till the mid thigh. Patient should not be on any anticoagulants like heparin or ecospring, aspirin. Aspirin have to be stopped. It is not an exact deadline. It is better to stop at least 5 days before the procedure. If it is heparin 24 hours before the procedure, these anticoagulants have to be stopped otherwise there is a risk of bleeding. The patient should have received a, a good bowel preparation. That is any otherwise uh, during the procedure patient there is high chance patient will pass the stools. In our center, we routinely give the prophylactic antibiotic that is usually uh, injection vancomycin, 1 gram that is prior to the procedure. Other important step is we have to examine the patient to look for any hernia, inguinal hernia or any degesions in the anterior abdominal wall that have to be checked and patient's cardiovascular status have to be examined before the procedure. And once these are done, the important requirements are First is the CAPD catheter set, that is the tenk of catheter. We will see the details of this in the subsequent slide. Next is the PD fluid. Two liters of PD fluid is required. Another one important uh, requirement is the gray cannula. If it is there, then it will be easy to insert the guide wire. And then other things are suitable material. So this is the PD catheter set. This is 42 centimeter. This is the tenk of catheters. Tenk of for the soft PD catheter. This comes as a set where available at uh, two sizes. One is 42 cm which is used for adult. Another one is 32 cm which is used for the pediatric population. The approximate cost of this in India is around 6,000 to 7,000 rupees. So this is a CFA, before the CFA insertion this is what the nursing station should have. Like it is, it is showing there should be a availability of the kidney tray, retractors, blade, tooth and non-tooth forceps. RP forceps and these are all the basic requirement, just a representative image. <laughs> After opening the CAPD catheter set, this are, these are all the things which are available. This number one is the catheter, this is the tank of catheter. Number two, this is the guide wire. Number three, this is the tunneler. Here is the introducer needle. This one is the, this one, this one is the dilator from peel off sheath similar to a perm cat peel off sheath and the accessory things are one blade syringe and the one connector is also available over here this is the guide wire which is present inside the pd catheter set and this is the catheter if you see the catheter there are two cups one is over here another one is here in one end we are having the holes other one is clear and this is the tunneler and this is the dilator come peel off sheath dilator come peel off sheath this is the tunnel maker so these are all the things which are available inside the pd set so first step is we have to subsequently with the spirit and here is one representative clip of how to clean it in a rotatory motion the entire abdomen along with till the above the pubic sympathies have to be cleaned thoroughly and the entire area have to be covered with the sterile sheet like this only the operating area that is umbilicus and below umbilicus this area is visible First thing is that usually this is umbilicus, below umbilicus we are going to make a R1 or 2 cm just lateral to the umbilicus also, infra umbilical or just lateral to the umbilicus. Uh, in few centers they used to do the Doppler if available to look for the location of any uh, inferior epigastric artery where it is so that the bleeding complication can be avoided to, avoid, to look for any presence of any blood vessels over this area that can also be done before this step. First is the Doppler can be done in the infra umbilical region to look for any presence of blood vessels. So first step here is we are giving the local region that is just midline and 1 cm lateral to the midline of the umbilicus. <coughs> After giving the local, a skin incision is made like this. The incision have to be straight and there should not be like striations over here because it increases the chance of infection. Then the incision is being made. Once the incision is being made, after that, after a few dissection, this retractor can be put. Then using the hand or a arterial dissection without much damage, we have to reach the rectus sheath. Like how rectus sheath can be identified, it have to be, it can be identified by based on the appearance. It can be like uh, sheath like thing can be there or while inserting the uh, or by feeling also it used to have a thick sheet kind of feeling might be there once we uh, start dissecting and enter the sheath like you can palpate the thick sheet like thing below this once we dissect and go over here that is the rectus sheath after this here the rule of the grey cannula comes this is the grey cannula which is usually we use this is being used instead of the introducer which came in the PD set to avoid any bowel damage 
which can occur with the stiff introducer needle. Here we are going to use this as introducer needle to pierce through the rectus sheath and reach the peritoneal space. Once we reach the peritoneal space, we will remove the needle so that only the soft part is inside, the chance of bubble damage is less. So that is why we are using the grey cannula. Is it compulsory to use only this grey cannula? No, you can use the introducer needle also. Like we prefer this grey cannula. Green, whether green cannula can be used, green cannula can be used, but only issue is guide wire won't pass, pass through it. So that's why we are using grand grey cannula over here. So now we inserted the grey cannula like this. Like the previous step, we reached the rectus sheath. Once the rectus sheath is reached, blind procedure. It is a blind procedure. Now blindly we inserted the grey cannula through the rectus sheath into the peritoneal cavity towards the iliac fossa. It have to be inserted. Some people that's why patient have to empty the bladder before the procedure so as to avoid damage to the bladder also that point uh, i forgot to tell in the beginning so it have to be inserted towards here once we enter the rectus sheath and enters the peritoneum there will be a giveaway feeling once we get that feeling we remove that needle which is associated which is with the gray cannula then only put insert the soft part of the gray cannula once this gray cannula is inserted we have to connect the pd fluid so this is the pd fluid the pd the patient will be like here in the bed here we have to connect the pd bottle from here it have to be connected to the IV cannula. It should have a very free flow of fluid. Here, this image is not clear, but it is very clear flow. One column of fluid is going through this and it is entering the peritoneal cavity. Suppose if it is in pre-peritoneal space, it might not have a very free flow. Once free flow is there, we have to like infuse around one to up to one liter can be infused, depends on the patient size. That is, we are creating the uh, ascites basically. Patient will also feel some coolness in the abdomen as the fluid started going inside the abdomen. Another thing is patient feels some heaviness. Patient might not have any pain if it is in the peritoneal space. Only that chillness or abdominal fullness patient used to feel. And the flow, uh, free flow will be there. No pain will be there. And by abdominal palpation also, there will be a diffuse, like, uh, diffuse enlargement of the abdomen. Like you can palpate and see there should not be any localized collection during this step. Once this step is over, so, so far we have put the incision, dissected and entered the uh, grey cannula and infused around 1 litre of fluid not exactly 1 litre, it varies from patient to patient once you think patient have uh, adequate amount of fluid is infused into the abdomen abdomen is distended, that is enough for majority of the patient, up to 1 litre to 2 litre is required the next important step is the guide wire insertion now we took the, now we removed that connection of PD, uh, PD fluid infusion now we are going to insert the guide wire similar to dialysis catheter insertion, IJV catheter insertion we are going to insert the guide wire through the grey cannula so this is on short clip of how we are inserting. So the guide wire is going smoothly, there is no obstruction. Here one hand you should hold the grey camera very stiffly. He is inserting the guide wire. It is going smoothly. Okay, then you can remove the camera. So this step is over. Now he removed the camera. Now guide wire is inside. So this step is complete over here. Now we will go to the next step, insertion of the dilator along with the peel-off sheath. This is the dilator come peel-off sheath, which is dilator come peel-off sheath which was available in the PD catheter set through the guide wire inserting the edges are sharp we have to make sure it reaches the rectus sheath then we are going to insert it is similar to the permacath peel off sheath only there will be only one dilator come peel off sheath so here guide wire is there we remove the cannula now we are going to insert this one so this is how once half of the dilator goes inside once the peel off go, peel off sheath goes till here we can start removing the dilator like this only the peel off sheath is now we are going to push fully along with the guide wire we are removing so this is how it is going inside, it is going inside, meanwhile slowly we are removing the guide wire and the dilator similar to the permacath insertion. At this point of time patient might be having severe pain. So next we have inserted as you see here, we remove the dilator along with the guide wire, only the peel off sheath is here similar to the permacath. Then now we have to take the catheter, that is the 10th cup catheter, where first cup is visible over here, second cup is over here. You have to visually look to look for the presence of the pores. See, here the pores are here. So this end is going to go inside through the peel-off sheath. So this is here, one person have to insert the uh, dilator through the peel-off, insert the catheter through the peel-off sheath. I mean, why? The next person should break it and remove the peel-off sheath, similar to the perm cap. This clip shows the same. Here we are inserting the catheter, one doctor inserting the catheter. The another person is removing the peel-off sheath, similar to this. See, it have to be very stiff and the first cup should be outside. See, now he is removing the peel off sheath. That's all. Peel off sheath is removed. Now the catheter is inside. So, just, uh, this is a uh, photo to show the PD fluid that we use. We have used 1.7% dextrose solution where the contents are given over here or smaller. You can see for the details. 
the contents are this is acetate based solution sodium chloride sodium acetate calcium chloride magnesium are there so one after inserting so what are the steps we have crossed the section on reaching the rectus sheath inserting gray cannula guide wire then insert the peel of dilator from peel of sheath remove the dil uh, guide wire along with the dilator after keeping the peel of sheath in position we inserted the catheter after this step we have reached this position that first cuff is over here second cuff is outside we have to make sure this first cuff goes in between the rectus sheath just we have to push it the next step is making the tunnel this is the tunneler which i showed in the pd catheter set so how to do here is the entry point of the catheter you have to make the upward curve from above to here so as to avoid any kink so here, here is the second cuff approximately two centimeter below here we have kept the exit side so given local anesthesia infusion over here from here using the tunneler enter from here and to make a subcutaneous don't go deep because uh, inferior epidermis artery may be there so that's why the step is also very important come through subcutaneously and come out through the exit side so here it came out on the back side the con like uh, the connecting point for the catheter is there so next step is so the tunnel came this tunnel came out the next photo is missing actually this catheter end point is over here that will be taken and connected with this end of the tunnel and bring it out so basically this catheter end which is over here will we have to connect here is the front of the tunnel back part of the tunnel back part of the tunnel we have to connect the catheter and bring it out through the exit side so this is how once we bring it out this is how it appears it come out through this once the catheter comes out through the exit side using the y crane we have to close the subcutaneous tissues and we have to close the skin with the, the skin sutures which are available and this image shows the skin closing step and this is the y crane which used to be closing that subcutaneous tissues and this is the final step before closing the procedure we have to make sure the inflow and outflow is good the inflow can be checked by connecting the pd fluid again there should be a free flow there should not be any uh, restrictions like a slower flow of the fluid and the outflow also have to be very fast as shown in the video over here i think video is not clear but the outflow is very good it is not hemorrhaging so after placement of the catheter it appears like this then we have to pack the catheter like after the procedure just after the skin closure skin closure is required over here only no need for skin closure over here here we didn't take the pursing suture over the first cup few people uh, few prefer to take the pursing purse string suture to avoid the like mislodgement of the pd catheter once the procedure is over we have to clean the area again with betadine and this catheter can be brought like this and uh, can be closed with gauze piece and microfoam so this completes the CAPD catheter insertion steps.